Hey everybody, it's John Pollock here. WWE Survivor Series is coming up this Sunday and joining me, a man who was a part of the very first Survivor Series in 1987 in Richfield, Ohio. Yeah, that was amazing. I mean, it was a brand new concept. We didn't know what to expect. I, I refereed the women's uh, Survivor Series style match, which is very interesting. Got to work with the Jumping Bomb Angels, which was really cool. And also was the outside ref in the main event, which was actually a huge thrill. And here we are 23 years later in the WWE. We almost saw the Survivor Series name shelved last year, but they are bringing it back. It's headlined by Wade Barrett challenging Randy Orton for the WWE Championship. And the intriguing part of this is John Cena is going to be the third man in the ring. This was the storyline they've been pushing the hardest, but I thought this past Monday with the Roddy Piper promo, they put a lot of emphasis on this match, and I'm anticipating Yeah, I think Roddy Piper really nailed it on, on, the, on this hit promo in the end of Raw. That last segment was worth watching that whole show alone. And, and what I like too is they left you hanging now. You don't know which way, which way Cena's going to lean. You know, he, he, he attitude adjustment on um, Wade Barrett, one on Randy Orton. What's he going to do? And the tease for the heel turn definitely there for John Cena. We'll see if the WWE has the bravery to turn their most popular performer. Also on the SmackDown side, we're gonna see Kane defending the World Championship against Edge. Uh, this one I was a little surprised because on SmackDown a week prior, they beat both guys on the television show and you've been building Edge up a lot. Not as much emphasis, I think, on this match heading into the pay-per-view. No, I think the main emphasis is on the Wade Barrett, Randy Orton match with Cena's referee. This is kind of almost like a filler title match. That's the feeling I'm getting from it anyway. We will see one traditional Survivor Series on the card. It's gonna be a SmackDown only elimination style match. We have Team Rey Mysterio taking on Team Alberto Del Rio, and this is pretty much a mishmash of SmackDown talent. No real storylines connecting any of these performances. No, it was almost like a, hey, you know what we're missing on this pay-per-view is a Survivor Series style match, so here you go. And it's an excuse to get Tyler Rex on his second straight <laughs> WWE pay-per-view. So for those keeping count, Tyler Rex returning once again. Uh, a handicap match for the Divas Championship. Michelle McCool and Layla teaming up to take on Natalia. Not sure exactly how this is working, but nonetheless, the title is on the line in a handicap match. Well, hopefully they keep this one to a short time frame. And speaking of a short time frame, Heath Slater and Justin Gabriel against Vladimir Kozlov and Santino Morella. I enjoy Santino and Kozlov outside of the ring, but here on a pay-per-view, let's hope four minutes at best. And let's hope the Cobra doesn't make an appearance also. It's the WWE Survivor Series pay-per-view. It's coming up this Sunday night from Miami, Florida. John Cena, is he going to turn heel? That seems to be the hook, and we'll find out if people bite coming up this Sunday night on pay-per-view.